This one's kind of related to my last video I just made, but people always say this to you, like, in a condescending way, when you're feeling like shit, you're saying this world is bullshit, and you never asked to be born, or you don't want to work because this world is fucked up, and you can't achieve your goals because of shitty people in life, and they just tell you, oh, life... Life for you is fucking shit because life isn't guaranteed. If, and that if that's true, then why break someone here? If I can't achieve my dreams and my aspirations or I can't live comfortably, right? Then why bring someone here? If that if that's the case, I don't understand it at all. Why bring someone here if life, you, you, you're not guaranteed to have a good life? <laughs> and I do believe that statement because these natalists just fucking drop these fucking babies like flies and they, they come out of the womb with, uh, with poor parents. They come out of the womb with a mental health problem or physical health problem, or developmental disability, or they come out of the womb with bad genetics, or they come out of the womb with a toxic uh, family, like with their parents and siblings, and they, they and a, or a bad environment, like or like abusive household, or like having a lot of money but can be uh, abusive parents too like it, it goes on and on and on you're not guaranteed to have this perfect family you're not guaranteed to have a good life and succeed you're not guaranteed for those things <laughs> you're not guaranteed to have <laughs> like the girlfriend you want or you're not guaranteed for anything. And I do agree with that. You're not guaranteed for anything. And it's it's fucked up. You know, I'm not trying to sound entitled like I, I need everything. I, I'm spoiled or whatever because I'm not. And I'm not trying to guilt trip myself. Like, if people think like that in my videos, that's not what my videos are about. But, um, why bring someone here then? Life isn't guaranteed a good life. It's just like my last video, like all that evidence out there. It just doesn't make sense how people view like life as good and and then they contradict themselves themselves and say, Oh, life isn't guaranteed to have a your life isn't guaranteed to uh, be good and terrific or fantastic. You know. It doesn't make sense. So why bring someone here? Like that makes the most sense. Like I don't want my kid. Like I don't want my like kid to feel pain, or I don't want my kids to even feel good because once a kid feels good, there's some painful event gonna happen. Some predict predicament predicament. So because once something good happens, something bad happens. That's what I think, and that's how I think about this world. I'll make a video about that. Rat, why? It's better to be neutral. None of it. Because you don't even ask for it. Non existence is the answer. So people wouldn't have to suffer. People wouldn't have to feel good and, and then suffer again. And, you know, and people. And all these, all these uh, sufferings in this world, be all gone if people chose to not have kids, right? But that's never gonna happen. Now people are gonna have kids no matter what. And all I'm gonna say is, I hope the kid has a good life and likes it, like likes its parents. And that's all. It's hope, you know, because it there's parents out there. There's kids out there that do have good parents, and they do like their parents, and they feel like 
they like life, I guess, you know? I'm not denying that either. So, I feel like there's way less of that, though, obviously, but... That just doesn't mean you still have should have a kid, though, because you had a good life and a good parents, because your kid could still have a bad life, your future kid. So... Um, let's talk about, uh, what am I saying, uh, we'll do another video after this one.